Folks, good evening. It is the Earthmaster back here on this Friday night. Woo! Weekend is upon us. Uh, it is about 10 o'clock here, West Coast time, California time. July 21st, 2023. Latest earthquake shows a, uh, looks like a 3.0 over here in the mix of uh, activity across the Mediterranean. And a 1.2 in the green flag down here into Southern California. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here in SoCal. Where we're still seeing fairly calm conditions. We're not seeing any major uptick in our earthquake activity here over the last 24 hours. 1.3 near Little Lake and also a little one here on the San Jacinto fault zone. That's very typical though to see that uh, microquake activity. Not seeing any major large scale movement taking place out here. Uh, a little bit of movement across the creeping segment of the San Andreas fault and Reno up here outside of Reno getting in on some activity. That uh, was a 2.6 earlier this afternoon. Looks like right around the border of California and Nevada. Also up here across the uh, Lake Albanor area. This is starting to fill back in again. A couple smaller earthquakes here over the last 24 hours. Uh, 2.1 the largest though in that uh, movement there underneath Lake Albanor. Occasionally that does pop up. Uh, Mendocino area looks like a 2.8. Uh, that was earlier this morning. Let's go ahead and check out the trimmer map here tonight real quick and see what we got for the Cascadia trimmer. 40 epicenters of trimmer, mostly up here across the Olympia area of Washington. Not a big number at all, but uh, still a little bit of uh, trimmer kicking up here. Uh, that's where uh, we did see a uh, little bit of activity north of this region. Uh, seen a 4 or a 2.4, 46 kilometers deep earlier this morning here into that area. All right, uh, what else we got? Montana. Montana rocking up here a little bit near Edgar, Montana. 3.2. A ways away from Yellowstone. Uh, there are some fault systems that do run up here. That uh, Yellowstone Act. Let me show you the Yellowstone map here. Uh, it did pick up that earthquake pretty nicely. It's going to be this one right up here a few hours ago. Showing up uh, pretty solid all across the park. Um, looks like, let's see what this is down here. This does not look like earthquake activity, but you never know. Let me check out the windy map here real quick. I'm kind of curious to see if there's any, uh, storms up there brewing around. A lot of times we get that activity, uh, kicking in. Rain and thunderstorms. Well, doesn't look like it. Hold on. Let's go over here to the radar. Nothing. Well, uh, a little bit. That's a far, that's a ways away. No major wind, no uh, thunderstorms, so that's a little interesting. See if see if this uh, continues overnight. It looks like it's mostly confined here to the the station. A couple of these look like earthquakes, but uh, other than that, looks a little on the. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it just doesn't really look like activity there, earthquake activity. But we'll continue to watch it. Uh, There is a signal over here in the last few hours. Mostly, uh, it looks like it showed up mostly on the eastern side of the park. It's going to be these little signatures right here. That does look like some earthquake activity occurring a ways away from this station uh, or away from this area in general. But it is showing up here uh, across a couple stations near Lake Butte, the Promontory, and Parker Peak area. Uh, not 100% certain what that is. Um, I, I know we haven't had any large-scale earthquake activity. Uh, and nothing really that should show up here uh, at Yellowstone. What's this, a 3.4 Mona Passage. It's a pretty deep earthquake. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know what that uh, signature is up there at Yellowstone right now. These twos would not show that type of event. And uh, the uh, activity here across Idaho has been relatively small and minor. That wouldn't even be picked up. Uh, so... I don't know. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that and see what uh, these signatures are right here. Because whatever they are, they showed up, um, you know, across the area on a couple different seismograph stations. Mostly here on the eastern side of the uh, region. So, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, but we'll keep an eye on Yellowstone here, of course, as always. couple smaller earthquakes here in the last 24 hours it looks like all right uh, across Texas 
there's some of that smaller movement there. Not a whole lot going on across the country right now as far as the uh, uh, earthquake activity goes, at least according to the uh, USGS. EMSC really not showing too much activity here across the, uh, the region either. Quite a bit of clustering going on, big time clustering, with some twos and threes and fours here across the Middle America Trench. That's going to be in this area right here that looks absent of earthquake activity, but there's definitely some movement uh, stirring up there. Also, the Puerto Rico area showing some movement as well. Uh, South America getting in on some twos and threes, uh, and a lot more than the one single earthquake showing up here on the USGS side of things. Uh, Kermadec Islands here. Uh, north of the Kermadec Islands into the Tonga region. That was a uh, 5.5 coming in earlier uh, just after this morning's update we did see a little further movement just to the south here 4.9 uh, following that event the uh, new zealand area see what they got any earthquake activity it looks like a 3.2 stirring up here north island new zealand nothing major going on at least as far as i can see there across the area a little clustering going on here off the coast of japan we'll watch this pretty closely uh, USGS showing one earthquake, 4.8, but as you can see here, there's definitely a handful of some other uh, seismic activity going on there across Japan. There's that movement across the Java Trench, Indonesia area, and also south of Taiwan here, or into the, uh, the Philippines area, all seeing some elevated movement here. This is where it's been for the past well, two days or so. Uh, just been clustering up across this area, working its way up around the Java Trench, and as you can see here across the plate boundaries, uh, around India, Himalaya area, China region over here. Uh, this definitely looks a lot more active than what it has been. Uh, and that's uh, looks like a couple threes and fours here across the area of the Mediterranean. Looks like that's probably off Greece into the Aegean Sea area. USGS showing one earthquake there, a, a 4.5 uh, way over here, but then surprisingly a 3.5 okay it's just odd just throw in a an odd earthquake here and there i mean if you're gonna throw in i th I, I would say if you're gonna throw in you know international earthquakes why not throw them all in there or at least give give the uh give the option out here to include international that would be kind of cool all right uh the atlantic ocean looks fairly quiet not a whole lot going on out there one earthquake south of South Africa, 3.2. Fairly new earthquake there. Uh, so we'll just watch this, see how this plays out. Um, I would say definitely some broad scale activity taking place. Getting uh, pretty active out here. Space weather activity here from solarham.net. Just coming down from an M flare. Not a large one, an M3.8 one it looks like you can still see it flaring slightly right here that uh that's been that one center disc for the most part right that we've been kind of watching looks like it was dying off a little bit in the magnetogram imagery uh but it looks yeah that's actually the one that i you remember <laughs> that's the one i actually picked out of, out of all of these to maybe keep an eye on it it looks like there is still some clustering going on here uh, with that, um, within that core. Uh, let me take a look here at these other ones and see what we got. Yeah, I definitely, um, this one here still looks like it's growing slightly. Um, I don't believe there was any CME that was produced with it. Um, I'll wait for, uh, any verification. Doesn't look like it's a long duration event. Uh, either way, a little bit of M flare activity from 3370... 3373 right there now this one shows 3372 when was this though 0336 UTC time hold on a second 0336 so a couple hours ago maybe um oh I see now in the UV filter ray here that's the area that produced the M flare, and now this one's currently flaring. So we got two sunspot areas that look fairly um, active right now. 3372 up here. Well, I guess it's. Take a look at the closer image here. 
I guess it does have a little bit more complex structure here it looks like but uh, nothing nothing major but again these things can pop up out of the blue and just uh, get very dynamic all of a sudden so we'll continue to watch that looks like it's starting to definitely flare up uh, at least in that one that produced the M flare and also down here that's a little bitty flare popping off uh, no major solar weather events far as CMEs go so we're not really expecting too much here across the auroras uh, the aurora forecast um, looks like isolated M flares will remain possible throughout the weekend with a lesser chance for an isolated X flare still looking at 99% chance for a C flare M flare at 45 X flare around 5% chance proton event has disappe uh, disappeared but uh, it's still got a 5% chance or so with the numerous uh, sunspots that are currently facing the earth uh, storm prediction center out here not a whole lot going on uh, as far as uh, any severe weather threats go looks like a little noisy night out in the western texas areas on the panhandle and uh, down in the south a little bit of uh, thunderstorm activity to uh, keep your friday night uh, interesting there already saturday morning over there so all right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. I am a little bit uh, tired. I spent most of the day out here in the pool trying to cool off. It hit 110 at my house, and it's supposed to be about about 111 tomorrow here in Northern California. So I'm just, I am done. Not even joking. It's just one of those days. You know, if I could, I probably would have went to sleep around 8 o'clock or so, but 10 o'clock will work for me. Just got to get Missy Mimi's here to... Um, join me that way we can uh make it a, a peaceful night have a good one out there folks and we'll catch you guys back here tomorrow morning saturday morning take care everyone